God. <laughs> Sorry. Look at my nails. One fell off and the other one is like chipping away. I was going to try like salvage them for as long as possible. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I'm getting ready to take the boys to an appointment and I have nothing to post today because my period is absolutely wrecking my life. It is absolutely wrecking my fucking life right now. Um, and by that, I just mean that I'm like super, super tired. I'm really tired. I took sleeping medicine last night so that I could get some good sleep. Um, cause I have it in like a week and it ended up working a little too well. Um, like after the boys were sent off to school, I fell asleep really early and then, well, not really early. It was probably like 10, 30, 11. But um, after the boys went to school, I laid down and I did not get up until 3.40. And I'm still tired. And I had a five hour energy and all kinds of shit to try to like help myself wake up. And obviously it did not work, but I'm gonna go ahead and sort of vlog because when I get home, I'm kind of hoping like getting up and moving and shit will like help me wake up a little bit. But when I get home, I think I'm going to film a makeup video because I've wanted, that's like one of the main reasons that I wanted to get a good like sleep last night was because I wanted to do my makeup and be able to wear it all day. <laughs> and my hormones said no, but it also it could have to do with the fact that like that sleeping medicine worked a little too well. It worked a little too well. This shit is it's driving me nuts. <laughs> um, I gotta get my skin care done. I have like 30 minutes before we're leaving the house, but I wanted to not have to rush and everything. Hold on a second. I just realized that my pants are on inside out. I just realized my pants they're on inside out. Uh, and, and the way that I realized it was because I looked down and I realized I could see the hem. I could see, they're just black leggings. I'm just wearing black leggings with this sweater. Isn't it cute? Um, I, I, I kind of am just taking the approach of, um, I'm too tired to deal with this. And honestly, if you are close enough to me, where you can tell that the hem of my pants, my black leggings is on the outside. You're too close. <laughs> no, watch, we're going to get there and the waiting room is going to be full and I'm going to have to sit beside somebody and they're going to notice. You know what? If I saw the hem of somebody's pants on the outside, I wouldn't say anything to them. Hey, random person in the waiting room. Did you know your pants are on inside out? Like, what am I supposed to do? Go in the bathroom and fix them? What am I supposed to do? Act like an adult and fix them before I leave the house? Fat fucking chance. I forgot to change the shit on my camera before I started filming. So this is going to be all nice and lower than, lower quality than normal. All nice and shredded looking. My wig is looking extra amazing. It's not. I'm trying to pin it down because it's getting really loose. Like the band on it is getting really loose. I think I'm going to have to replace it soon. I, I actually am thinking about trying to cut it. Ow! That feels extra jabby and stabby. A lot of times I'll wear it, especially like out of the house and come home. And I'm like, oh, this bitch is crooked on my head. This bitch is crooked in on my head. If anybody around me was ever wondering if I was wearing a wig, well at this point they can fucking tell because the bitch is sliding. She's sliding everywhere. I just realized like a minute ago that I'm completely out of pads so I think we're gonna have to leave the house a little bit early because it's gonna be dark in an hour. And if there's one thing about me bitch, I prefer to not be out like in public places when it's dark out. Because you know what I associate it with? Being at Walmart and being harassed by teenagers in the parking lot because they have nothing better to do than to park their, their vehicle in the Walmart parking lot and like yell at people. So, <laughs> and also I'm probably just going to run to Dollar General. Um, and every time in my head, I think Dollar General is going to be a quick stop. The line is wrapped around the store because I think everybody else has that idea as well. I'm just going to run in here really quick now. But when I tell you I'm not paying the prices of everywhere else, 
and I'm also not going all the way to Walmart to save a couple bucks, I mean it. I will have a mental breakdown on these people. I will. And also, I know the candy slash snack aisle of that Dollar General hates to see my ass coming right now. I can't wait. Oh my god, I pinned this down and it's still fucking crooked. It has to be because I'm like putting it to one side. I have to put it to one side because you can tell how fucking grimy it is at this point. It, ha it has to stay to one side of my head or you can tell how gross it is. So why did my camera all of a sudden decide to get super orange? I thought it was my eyes and then I realized that it wasn't because I was watching my footage back and it looked normal and then I went to film more and it looked orange. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? I kind of feel like I'm stuck in a cycle because like I'm not like tired, tired, tired. I am like a little like, I don't know because of my period and because of the fact that I took sleeping medicine last night. I, I feel like I took sleeping medicine last night, but I don't feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. Like if I laid back down and tried to go back to sleep, I wouldn't be able to. But I feel like I'm stuck in this cycle because I feel like I need to have caffeine so that I can be like perky for their um, appointments. But it's 420, literally. It's 420. And I feel like it, all that's going to do is keep me up all night. Is make it so that I can't fall asleep until like 2 or 3 o'clock or later in the morning. I feel like I'm just stuck in this cycle of I have things to do late in the afternoon. And so I have to drink caffeine to stay awake. And then I bitch that I can't sleep at night. And also I think my hormones have a lot to do with it. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if, the, if it's going to stay this bright while I'm foaming. Um, because my Mac, my iMac just lit up accidentally. I feel like one of those TikTokers with an inconspicuously placed bang can and it's an, an undisclosed ad. Actually, we got this little case because the cashier at, um, Speedway just sold Eps, a case of these because they were on sale for a dollar a piece. Um, Anyways, I have to go through my makeup and get rid of a bunch of shit and it's almost Thanksgiving in the US. So that means that I will be around my nieces. So I'm just trying to get everything together before like family get together so I can just hand it off. And also I'm trying to have a palette refresher between me just sitting at my desk talking to you guys. Like I talked to you guys before <laughs> we left and then talk to you guys again after I got home. I just figured we could use a little bit of a palette refresher between that. So we're just going to put some shit in a box to get rid of. And I think I'm going to get, I know, guys, I continuously buy red lipstick because I used to wear it all the time when I was in high, junior high and high school. And I see people wearing it all the time and I just think it looks so good and I'm like obsessed with it. And then I put it on myself and I, it's like blue eyeshadow. I get so over it so fast. Like I see it on other people and I'm like, ew. And then I see it on me and after like 30 seconds, I'm like, no, I can't do this. But I buy it all the time because I see it on other people and I want it and then I get it and then I wear it and I'm like, no, but I have a lot of it. I'm going to get rid of this. Because I'm not a big fan of it and it's not because of the controversial uh, thing that I went through in, the, in my makeup video where I was like, why the fuck is there a, is there a warning on this? Uh, it's not just because, I just think it sucks. To be honest with you guys, I just, I genuinely think that it sucks. Like I bought it, I lost it for a very long time. I remember like feeling sick to my stomach that I paid $17 for this. Like that's criminal. $17 for an, an eyeshadow palette at Walmart. $17 for this bitch. For something this small. Something this small. And half the pigments don't even show up. Like of all the ones that I have used in this. Only one have one of them has shown up. And it's been like my least favorite one in the thing. So I'm going to give it to um, one of my nieces. To like rip up and have fun with. Because like... I'm just, I'm just gonna take the L. I'm gonna take the L on this one. Also, let me add, this is my favorite eyeshadow palette. It's the Moonstone palette by Profusion. 
it's less than twenty dollars it's like 19 look at that look at the size of this bitch look at all the stuff you get in it look at all those glitters they're amazing obviously i love this one the black in this palette is like the blackest black and then this little bitch right here this tiny little bitch right here is 17 dollars no hard lesson learned i think i was manic or something when i bought it i don't know oh my god more red lipstick i so i love the um the maybelline vinyl lipsticks i so desperately want to to like and use red lipstick this is revlon ultra hd vinyl lip polish i really wanted to like this one because this was a selena this was the Selena edition of the red lipstick. I so desperately want to like and enjoy and not get annoyed by red lipstick so quickly. And I can't do it. Like, I literally can't fucking do it. I think I'm going to get rid of these. Like, this little cover girl clean thing. Never mind these on the back. And I used to, if you've been with my channel for at least a two years. Ew! Is that eyelash glue guys if you ever wonder why i have eyelash glue all over my palettes is because when i put the glue on my eyelashes i just set them on like the nearest flat surface and it's usually like a compact or like a thing of eyeshadow but i used to be obsessed with this it's the maybelline the nudes palette oh it's kind of busted oh she's kind of busted i don't actually i was gonna say i don't know if this will survive them, considering that um, they're like 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't think it's going to survive them anyways. But this little bitch was a staple in my routine for like the longest time. Also, my Mac keeps lighting up and going back to sleep and like because I keep touching the, the, the mouse. I'm sure you heard it. Also, these little bitches right here. This brand, I'm never going to be able to find it ever again because the only place that... They used to sell it. Somebody told me how to pronounce it. It's K-O-K-I-E. I think it's called Koki. I'm not sure, but it's the brand with the elephant on it. They used to, many, 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 many years ago, sell this at Walmart, and then they stopped selling it at Walmart. And now the only place that I had seen it in years was Rite Aid. And now the fucking Rite Aid by my house is gone. So I will probably never see this brand again. They make my favorite bronzer too. But I keep buying these little crystal bitches. This one's by Profusion. I actually got it in like a, a, like a holiday set. I've never tried it. But I always buy these like little crystal eyeshadows that are like Stila dupes. And I never use them. In my head, I think that I will. And then I get them. And I'm like, why? Why did I do that? I think I'm going to get rid of this loose glitter and it is solely to sabotage my siblings. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just noticed that it's busted. And so I, the moment that you open it, it may get destroyed. I may give it to like my sister so she can put it in one of her art projects or something. Because that looks like it's not going to survive me taking the lid off. I don't know look at it i don't think you can tell but it's completely shattered i actually got this as part of the same gift set as i got that and my glitter liner that i fell in love with and finally ran out i'm gonna get rid of my falscara stuff because one of my niece my nieces actually uses falscara i tried and i can get them on but they only want to last about six hours for me because i truly feel like in order for you to have something glued to your eyelashes you probably like actually need to have eyelashes and i have like none like i have like i don't have any like whenever i put on mascara it doesn't make my eyelashes look long and full it just kind of makes me look like i still have a below average amount of eyelashes but i actually saw one of my nieces the other day and she was wearing some of the falscara lashes so i think i'll just give that to her Oh my god, I just knocked down my Coraline doll again. It does not want to say. Okay, I'm officially overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm officially overwhelmed. I officially... I'm about to tap out. I really like this stuff. But it's Lottie Stay Matte AF. 
setting spray. Really like this stuff. Learned the absolute hardest way that in order to use matte setting spray, you have to shake the literal shit out of it. Or when you spray it on your face, it leaves like flecks of like powder. Like it literally looks like somebody took like a, a, a brush that has powder all over it and went pop and it just all over your face is what it looks like. And I learned that the hard way by doing a full face of makeup and then uh, glancing at myself really quickly and seeing that. So it was a really good thing that I didn't have anywhere to go. It was a really good thing that it was one of those days where I was just doing my makeup for shits and giggles. I'm already overwhelmed. I'm already overwhelmed. I bought this little freckle pin because I just thought it would be cute to try to do fake freckles. And I... As it turns out, don't know how to space things out realistically. I tell myself I'm not going to do them in a pattern and they end up in a pattern anyway. It's just like every time that I try to sporadically put like gems on my face. Ooh, that's where that is. Every time I try to like sporadically, this is my favorite lipstick ever. It's called um, Rave by Tarte. Um, every time I try to like sporadically put that like uh gems and shit on my face i can't and i end up um doing like a pattern like a distinct pattern and realistically freckles aren't usually in a perfect pattern so like i can't figure it out like i can't fucking figure them out oh my god i'm so overwhelmed <laughs> and i feel like i'm gonna do the thing where i end up keeping a whole hell of a lot more than i get rid of because that is just something that I really love to do. I also need to go through my um makeup brushes and get rid of some stuff. What is this? Have I ever even used this? What is this? Is this just something that I bought in the Rite Aid clearance aisle because I needed a thrill? Because it looks like it. RIP the Rite Aid clearance aisle. You will forever be missed. I know that I have, I don't wear these. I have bought so fucking many of these, the Revlon Ultra HD. I buy them all the time and it's wild that I continue to buy them because I personally don't like the formula. I'm trying to think if I like this or not. I think that I do. I think whenever I'm going through like a nude neutral, like, um, phase, it's one of my favorites. I have so much shit in here, and then this is not even, like, this is not even the beginning of it. Oh, my God. This is Toffee Talk. It's one of my favorite. It's it's Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. I have literally bought and rebought and rebought and rebought that fucking shade so many times. I have, like, 1,200 of them laying around. I don't think I ever liked this. Somebody said it was a dupe for something. I can't remember what. It's one of the Maybelline lifter glosses. I don't think that I ever liked it. I think it looks weird on me. Is I need to clean these up. Like I need to go through with a wipe and clean this stuff up. I'm so overwhelmed. I think I might have bit off a little more than I can chew. This is what I have to get rid of for now. This is what I have to get rid I gotta go through. I think I'm gonna go through with a Clorox wipe and um, wipe it off. Just clean off the old makeup. And a lot of the stuff has like fucking eyelash glue on it. But I said, I have so much more to go through. Oh my God. Part of me wishes also that I had friends that I could give makeup away to because I just feel like my nieces will probably pick through it, take what they want, and I will still be left with a bun. I tried, bitch, I tried! Okay, I've been home for a few minutes. I just need to collect myself because I just fucking remembered. No, I just remembered. We're walking out of the building and Dee looks at me. God, my wig is... You are just really doing your own thing. D looks at me and he's like, Mommy, do you know what day it is? I was like, Wednesday? And he's like, the date. And I said, the 13th? And he was like, do you know what that, what that means? I was like, no. Like, 
No. He's like, it's a special day. I was like, oh, I know it's my uncle's birthday, but he's dead. And I don't think that he knows that because he died when Dee was like two. So I was like, at a complete total fucking loss. And he looks at me dead serious and says it's the day the gummy bear album was released and then we get in the car and he, t he picks up his phone and he hits play <laughs> look for the gummy bear album in stores november 13th and then we listen to the gummy bear song on the way home i was like why is raising alpha gen children like parenting a living meme it is literally <laughs> The shit that their little brains files away. Um, anyways, I had to take my nails off. They are absolutely shredded. I went to, I went to, um, Dollar General. We left a little bit early. I think I said that. We went to Dollar General because I had to get some pads and I didn't want to be out too much after dark. And if I would have known that they were all going to fall off, and honestly, I should have taken them off anyway, because I think it was this one was literally like the top half of it broke and it was holding on for dear life. If I would have been thinking, I would have went ahead and grabbed some nails while I was there. I just didn't. But period haul. I knew when I bought this shit, it was going to be gross. I knew when I bought a, a, a popsicle Hawaiian pineapple c4 i knew it was gonna be gross but they they don't like have anything at dollar general cold like if you want a monster or a red bull or anything they have a wall full of them but they're all room temperature and i just am not in the mood to deal with a room temperature energy drain i also love how i'm like i'm just perpetuating the cycle of not being able to fall asleep at a decent hour maybe i shouldn't do that and then i go right out the door and buy a fucking c4 which is like 300 fucking milligrams of caffeine. Um, I did get some snacks for the boys, but they're downstairs. Period haul. Period haul. So, I love how Dollar General brand pads. Dollar General brand pads. Seven bucks. Seven dollars. I mean, these will last me a really long time. I don't... 38. Yeah, these will probably last me shit six plus months but still i think i only have to buy pads like twice a year if even because i usually don't last longer than three or four days but seven bucks for fucking store brand i mean didn't i say before i left or maybe i thought about saying it that like i don't want to go to walmart I don't want to go to Walmart, so I'm going to pay a little bit more just to get, go somewhere close to home. Uh, yeah. Seven bucks. And the ones that I usually get are nine. And I was like, oh, two bucks is two bucks. Whatever. Um, I did not realize that dollar, this is, these were my period cravings. I bought my, and by that I mean I saw it and my uterus said I want it and I said, okay. I did not realize that our Dollar General has Pocky and it had like a bunch of different ones, but I have to be really careful um, because I can't have any of the ones that have like almond or anything on them. I can't have the strawberry ones because I'm allergic to strawberry, but they had the regular chocolate ones and they had most, most of them that they had were the chocolate ones. Those are usually like the least popular ones. Uh, so I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> I guess I'm lucky there. I guess I'm lucky there. And then... The other thing that I got that my bleeding uterus was screaming for was some of these. I actually wanted the chocolate ones, like the regular chocolate ones, but they had these and I love them too. They'll fucking work. I also got really excited when we were leaving because I looked up and the moon was covered with like fog, like clouds. And it looked big and beautiful. And I was like, oh, I need to set my crystals out. But I just checked and it's not, the moon's not going to be full until Friday. But it, it looks beautiful. And I almost pulled out my phone and took a video, but I didn't because I just wanted to get home and eat something. I was feeling very shanky. But I don't know. Anyways, I have to go finish some laundry. I got to go throw some stuff in the dryer. And then I don't know if I'm going to vlog any more today. What time is it? Yeah, I've got about an hour before I need to make sure that the boys get in the shower and all that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about playing Sims and like trying to speed run my daughter growing up so I can play with her. I've also thought about rebuilding Newport, like the empty world in the Sims and putting 
a restaurant in there because I have the stuff to build a restaurant. I just never have. I thought about making a bowling alley with an arcade in it. I thought about making a nightclub. I thought about making uh, an indoor pool, like all this other shit. I always get these really big fucking big brain ideas and then struggle with following through with them because I get halfway through and I'm like, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. I might. I don't know. It is like 630 and it feels like, it, oh, it's seven. But it feels like it's midnight and I'm still tired. And according to my Fitbit, I slept almost 11 hours today. So I love winter time. I prefer winter time because I get to wear cute stuff like this and I get to wear my big puffy jackets and my boots and stuff without burning up. But one thing that I don't like about it is the fact that I got home at like 6.15 or something like that, plopped my big ass down and I'm like, ooh, I can watch Queso stream while I eat my dinner. Uh, Queso doesn't stream where I live until almost 10 p.m. But in my brain, it already was that late. <laughs>